Freddy, Uchi, come and see a polio board. It's his mother's carelessness. They say he fell off his mother's back and contracted polio. He just sits there all day. I disagree. Polio is an evil spell placed on a child from the womb before he or she is born by witchcraft powers. Are you serious? Of course. That is why there is no medicine that can cure it. And they said anyone with polio shouldn't go to school or they will die or have more pains than they already have. That is why this one sits here all day. My grandma told me that if parents do not approve of an intercultural marriage, the couple can give birth to a polio boy or girl. Come on! That is why I will not give birth to polio children. How do you intend doing that? Mm, I'm an house boy and there is a house girl by our house. I'm going to get married to her. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Tundi not saying anything? I feel sorry for the boy. Whatever the cause, the boy is innocent and he's suffering for what he knows nothing about. So you agree he knows nothing about it? Of course. In my village, if a woman eats cow leg during pregnancy, her baby will definitely be a polio baby. Huh? Oh, it's true. My mom once called me and my siblings and told us a story that once you eat cow leg, you contract polio. It would have been better if you have said nothing to me because your mom does not know what she's talking about. Huh? That's a funny story. We eat a lot of cow legs in my house and yet I do not have polio. I think I believe her. If polio is not caused by eating cow legs, why is it working like a cow? We eat cow legs in our family during Big Salah. We even have them stocked in our fridge, yet no one in my family has polio. I doubt all these polio speculations. I think we should just ask our teacher. He should know more. Everybody is just confused. Well, maybe you are right. All I know again is that from where I come from, some of these polio people are banjays. Hey, who told you so? My mom. She said their physical legs are taken from them so they can fly higher and be more active in the spiritual realm. You mean the more disabled they are, the more powers they have? So, those who are lying on their bellies because they can't use their hands and legs have greater powers? Oh yes! They are the Ogbanji kings and queens and anybody they curse is cursed. What are you using that for? I'm going to stone that Ogbanji polio boy we just passed by on the road. What a joke! We might still be wrong. We did say we are going to ask teacher. I'm sorry. I don't just know what came over me. I just suddenly got scared of them and their spiritual powers. Oh, I remember now. Last week we saw a polio boy on crutches, putting on a school uniform. And they say that polio people don't go to school? Don't mind him. My mommy said the boy has polio because his daddy is a polio survivor. So a polio survivor can actually give birth to a polio victim? Exactly. That's what mommy said. Are uh, all the children in the family polio victims? No, only him. And they have five children in the family. Hello boys, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. So what are you boys discussing so seriously? We are discussing no banjays and bad spirits. Ew! You boys wanted to see me? Yes, yes sir. Yes sir, yes sir. Alright, come with me. Sir, we need you to enlighten us on polio. Hmm, polio, interesting topic. Because we are confused about a couple of things. Okay, what do you want to know? What is polio, sir? Hmm. Polio can be difficult to explain sometimes because it is a many-headed monster. But according to Sass in his book called Polio Legacy, an oral history in 1996, poliomyelitis, as it is called, is a disease that can damage the central nervous system and cause paralysis. It is a compound word derived from the Greek language, inflammation. Polios meaning grey and myelos meaning spinal cord. Sir, Tunde said eating cow legs is the main cause of polio. Is it true? Dangote, <laughs> polio is caused by a virus called poliovirus, not cow leg. Huh, I told them. Actually, there are three types of poliovirus known as piconaviruses. The three types include white poliovirus type 1, also known as bronhide, white poliovirus type 2, also known as lansing, and white poliovirus type 3, also known as Leon. White poliovirus type 1 is most common and closely associated with polio's more severe 
paralytic progression in Nigeria. What are the other causes, sir? Is it also an evil spell placed on the child from the womb or are there Obanje spirits? <laughs> no, 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 no. There are no other causes, Dangoti. You can only get it through ingestion. That is when you put the virus in your mouth. But viruses are tiny and invincible. How can I put them in my mouth? Good question. You see, because they are microscopic in nature, the only way we can ingest them is when they mix with our food and drink, mostly water. Um, any symptoms, sir? Yes, indeed. Though there might not be any visible symptoms but fever, cold and influenza, in such a case, it is easy for a person to distribute the deadly poliovirus. How? The poliovirus remains active in the body of any carrier for about six weeks or more. That's a lot of time. Indeed. But during this period, the person will gradually release it through feces. And in the event of unhygienic lifestyle, the virus mixes with drinking water or food and one ingests it. So clean environment and hygienic lifestyle help in preventing polio? Exactly. Also drink clean water and the risk of contracting polio will drastically reduce. Sir, is it true that the more the deformity, the more the spiritual powers and are they obanges? It's a vital question. The severity of deformity imposed by polio on its survival has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with any evil or spiritual obanje power. Hmm. The paralysis caused by polio can affect one leg, two legs or both legs and hands at the same time. This depends on the area of the spinal cord that has been invaded and the number of neurons involved. Sir, you mentioned survivors. Polio cues, but some who get treatment on time might end up with deformity, hence they are called survivors. Sir, all the polio victims I know are children. Does it affect only children? Why do they say that survivors should not go to school? Can a polio survivor give birth to a polio child? First things first, when it comes to polio, everyone is at risk. It's just more prevalent in infants and children between the age 0 to 5 years. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the Vice President of America. He contracted polio at age 39 and lived the rest of his life on wheelchair and calipers. Polio survivors go to school. They need it like every other person. What they go to school to study though will now depend on the severity. That's a bit hard to believe. Some years ago in India, a young polio victim picked up from Indian Rehabilitation Center after he had been abandoned by his parents. He was adopted by a British missionary couple and was taken to Britain and sent to school there. At the age of 27, this lame boy had become an accomplished pilot. Wow! Flying an airplane! Yes! What about parents giving birth to polio victims? Now nah, that is impossible. Polio is not hereditary. Though it is caused by a virus, it cannot live in an individual for more than two months. If a woman has an accident and broke her hand, will she then give birth to a baby with a broken hand? Scientifically, it doesn't work like that. Interesting. Its evil work, which is the paralysis, can however accompany its victim for life. However, HIV AIDS is different. The virus remains in the body of the individual permanently. That is why we tell you to abstain from premarital sex. Of course you know there is no cure for HIV yet. Is there a cure for polio? Unfortunately, there is no cure for polio at the moment, but it can be prevented. How? Through vaccine. The vaccine increases one's immunity to this deadly disease. There are two types of vaccines. One is a live attenuated or weakened oral polio vaccine, OPV, developed by Dr. Albert Sabin in 1961. And two is the inactivated or killed polio vaccine, IPV, developed in 1965 by Dr. Jonas Salk. The IPV has to be injected by a trained health worker, but the OPV is given orally and can be administered by volunteers. What does the vaccine do in the body? It makes the body powerful enough to fight the polio virus if one mistakenly ingests the virus. It also ensures that it doesn't result in wild polio cases. Which polio is wild and which one is mild? <laughs> Naturally incurred polio is known as wild, but there are exceptional cases where the oral polio vaccine, OPV, can cause polio. Huh? 
This happens when the immune system of the child being immunized is so weak that the weakened polio virus in OPV can make them to develop polio. This is called a vaccine-derived polio. This is a rare case and they are the type we have in America and Europe today. I'm happy you boys actually asked these questions. Sir, why do polio survivors choose begging instead of working in Nigeria? Does the law forbid them from working? That is an important question that I will allow a good friend of mine to answer. During break time tomorrow, I'll send you to the human resource manager of XYZ Nigeria PLC and maybe the other big man in the public service. These men will be able to answer further. Thank, Thank you, you sir. sir. My pleasure, boys. Good afternoon, sir. Our teacher said we could ask you a couple of questions, if you don't mind, sir. I'm happy when I see students wanting to know. You're welcome to ask me anything, as long as it helps you. Please, sir. We would like to know why polio victims don't work in Nigeria. That is why we are here. Hmm. But polio survivors work in Nigeria. There is no law or tradition that forbids them from working. They can work. Sir. Yours is a big conglomerate. Yes, yes. How many polio survivors work in this organization? Boys, I'm not the recruitment manager. I'll suggest you go see him in his office. He will tell you everything you need to know, okay? Thank you, Thank you, sir. Good morning, young man. Good, Good morning. morning. You can have your seats. Please, sir. The CEO said you will be able to answer our questions. It depends on what it is, but please, go ahead. We would like to know your total workforce and how many polio survivors work for you. Well, we have over 5,000 permanent workers. And for polio survivors, I think we have about five of them. But, sir, 0.1% of your workforce is too small. Considering the number of polio survivors we have in Nigeria and on our streets begging, why is it so? It is because most of them are not qualified. Those who can, cannot cope with the demand of our work. We want those who can combine two or three jobs together. An accountant doing the work of a marketer and sales representative. With that, we will be able to cut costs and generate not only positive contribution, but also abnormal profit. Sir, what happens to the very intelligent polio survivors that find it difficult to combine because of the so many movements involved? Let him go to the government to employ him now. We are for profit, government is for service. Can't you see the difference? Sir, the CEO of XYZ PLC didn't satisfy us. He said that for every 1,000 workers, there is only one polio survivor. To us, that is terribly low. Indeed, it is not good enough. But. Who is to blame? Sir, we can never blame the survival, but we can blame all of us, the government, corporate organizations, the parents, and the entire public. We are bothered, sir, because it seems these people are being punished for no offense at all. The human resource manager of XYZ PLC said we should go and meet the government if we want employment for them. Not many polio survivors have certificate to work. I should direct you to the head of service in the government. Polio survivors on the streets crawling or limping are meant to be rehabilitated, meaning the government must pay the price. We won't mind seeing anybody. These people need help. They really need help. You mentioned rehabilitation, sir. Yes, rehabilitation. Trying to help the polio patient move better and live better. It might include physiotherapy, orthopedic surgery, or provision of walking aids and gadgets. This depends on the severity of the deformity involved. You boys know so much now. What do you intend to do? Sensitization, sir. We will do our best to reach the relevant authorities to promote immunization. Every child must be immunized. We will also try to inform people on the right causes so that people will begin to show them love and of course get them rehabilitated. That's very important. We have heard that they can go to school. 
we must ensure that they are not deprived of the quality education they deserve because of deformity. We will also see to private and public sector employment for polio survivors. No one should be denied employment based on deformity. Wonderful! Great plans you have there. How about the older polio survivors that have had no chance at education and beg on the streets? Is there any help for them? Vocations, sir. They can learn vocations that are not physically demanding. Individuals, organizations and governments can sponsor this. This can get them off the streets and make them to settle down to live normal and dignified lives. On our way here, we were going to ask what post-polio syndrome meant. Heard it comes many years after the initial attack. Is that true? You boys know so much already. But remember, learning is progressive. You cannot learn everything in one day. However, I must tell you that PPS is not a fresh polio case. Neither is it polio relapsing again after many years. Okay. It is the weakening of the tissue of some polio survivors of the part previously or not previously affected by polio. Sir, can I have a bit of water from the dispenser? Sure, go ahead. Sir, what is the cause since you said it is not fresh polio? We don't know the cause yet, but experts say it is not unconnected with the level of stress or strenuous activities one involves in. Effects sometimes come in the form of excessive fatigue and reduced endurance, new joints and muscle pain, progressive muscle weakness, etc. Does PPS kill and how can it be managed? Because it is not fresh polio, it is not a life-threatening case unless it occurs in people left with severe respiratory problems following the polio infection. Unlike polio, it is not possible to prevent PPS, but medication may be recommended for any symptom that arises. The government will also do well to establish a rehabilitation center and create section in the National Polio Rehabilitation Center to attend to and give medical advice to polio survivors on post-polio matters. Sir, how about the parents of these polio survivors? What responsibilities do they have in ensuring healthy and happy lifestyles for polio surviving children? Come in. The teacher's meeting begins in about five minutes. Thank you. I'll be there in a bit. I must tell you that the parents have a lot to do as well. They must ensure that the children are given the best care, education and protection. Once they've done their very best, then other individuals, agencies and of course the government can now take up the mantle and do as they ought to do in assisting. Sir, thank you so much for allowing us encroach on your time. Pleasure is all mine, boys. We're here to educate and inspire after all. Everything done right in the right society. The boys suffering from polio, being hit behind the door by the parents, and the crawling polio girl on the road will one day be able to sit at the conference table on the same pedestal with able-bodied men and women and discuss issues that are jamming to taking our country and continent to the promised land. 